Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So Valorant um, and at Play Valorant just put out a tweet talking about the ranked or the competitive mode coming to Valorant very soon. So I just thought we would dive in, have a little read, see what they're planning, and yeah, just go over it for everyone who's interested. So I've been fortunate enough to get a beta key, so I'm playing the game at the minute, uh, learning it, I plan on doing some videos for everyone. So hopefully you'll all enjoy them to come and before we get into this just want to let you all know that we're currently doing a giveaway for modern warfare to your masters which will be the top link in the description so valorant ranks and competitive matchmaking so this is something that we're waiting for i can't wait for it in the beta because the unranked matches at times can be a bit annoying where you have people that aren't really on comms people just dropping out at the start of the game I think two games in a row we had people drop out in like one, round one or two either on our team or an enemy team but we did actually manage to win a 4v5 which is kind of cool um, so yeah hey Valorant competitors my name is Ian Fielding I'm right to be part of the competitive team for Valorant so the key points here so competitive mode will be made available soon after patch uh, 0 0.49 starting with EU and NA which is quite soon, I believe. I'm not exactly sure what version of Valorant we are on, but I can check. Um, Valorant's competitive mode uses the same in-game rules and format as the unrated, which is to be expected. Um, so pretty much what he's saying is what you're playing in the beta at the minute is actually what the game, like competitive mode, is going to be. So I think it's safe to assume that that includes the amount of rounds and everything uh still in the early stages uh you want they want it to evolve over time which is all fair enough um it doesn't want to tell me the rank of the game here or the the version of the game which we will check super quick do 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 I thought it said the version somewhere. Ah, here. So version 0 0.47. So keep that in mind. So we're coming back here now. And um, so yeah, uh, our system aims to solve some common pain points we've seen players experience in competitive modes and ranking systems. Okay. We're taking personal skill into account. So we recognize when you're crushing it, combat smurfing reduces. Wait, so we recognize it when you're crushing it. Okay, that's good. Combat smurfing combat smurfing i don't even know what that means uh reduce players with boosted ranks ensures oh okay so they're trying to avoid that so here is how you get into the ranked and how they're doing it so complete 20 unrated matches to unlock competitive mode so similar to other games where you just kind of play so they can get a base understanding of how you'll play eight ranks three tiers uh each except for the top rank which is valorant which i'll show you now Queue with up to five player parties, so same as it is as unranked, but you must be within two ranks. So that's something that we'll explain in a second. Rank isn't displayed of competitive matches aren't played within 14 days, but your rank doesn't decay behind the scenes. And closed beta does not carry over launch. So two key things to mention. So if you get a rank, let's say you are, I don't know, gold two, if you don't play within two weeks, you won't appear as goal two, but whenever you play the game again, you still are goal two. Simple enough. And whatever you get in the beta won't matter for the actual game. So here's the actual ranks themselves. Um, the actual icons, I think, are a bit boring, but they might look cool in the game. So if you can imagine within two ranks, let's just say, for sake of argument, that we are goal two. So this one here. They have to be within two ranks so that means a goal to can play with someone as low as a bronze or as high as a diamond simple enough that's that's actually not too bad so and unless they've made a mistake where it's meant to be two tiers which i highly doubt that's a pretty wide player gap um unless actually so that would have to be all the players would have to be between gold two and bronze because obviously if a diamond was in there a diamond can't play with the bronze um it'd be interesting to see if they add in the fact that a five man can all play together regardless of ranks um so yeah the option to enter competitive match checking will open once you complete 20 on rated matches consider this a necessary warm-up before the sweat starts which i think is fair um 
there are eight ranks, each divided into three tiers. So bron uh, iron, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, immortal, and Valorant. And Valorant's just one top thing. Um, let's see, winning games is the most important factor in getting ranks, yep. But if you perform exceptionally well, your rank can go up faster, that's good. And firstly, losing games can perform and perform well below expectations to just from your previous matches while well, we're just trying. So it's all pretty basic, pretty good. Um, your personal performance will have a greater impact on the early evolution of your, of your skill, but will decrease importance compared to wins as we hone on your skill over time. That's pretty good. Competitive mode also measures how decisively you win or lose. We we figure it out, there's a rally at it. So it didn't actually, like if you have a really good game but you are on the losing team, I wonder what happens, but yeah. For all those at Valorant rank, winning and, winning and how decisive games are won or loss will be the only factor we measure because the highest levels of competitive play, we trust you and your teammates have earned your way there. Okay, that's fair enough, like straight up wins and losses. So competitive integrity, this is something that is very, this could make or break, I guess. So our rank and competitive matchmaking system is meant to deliver a balanced fight and keep distrib distribution to a maximum. Factoring in your total performance also helps us better detect smurfs and prevent rank uh, boosting and get an accurate display of your skill rank much quicker. This way you'll have more trust that you're playing balanced matches with players have actually earned the rank. That's quite good, I really like that, that's a good idea. Planting the spike can be more fun with friends, so you can, com can queue into competitive matches with a party up to 5 people, which is great, if they didn't do that it would be ridiculous. We want players to feel supported when playing in a team of up to five because we see it as a key part of competitive play in Valorant. But whoever in your party must be within two ranks, i.e. six tiers from you. This requirement is to help ensure that there isn't a huge skill disparity. Yep, so simple enough, we've already went over that. We've also taken steps to ensure that you're on a level playing field regardless of your queue size. Our competitive matchmaking takes into account your pre-made party size and automatically optimizes your matches your match to favor similar pre-made size. So that's pretty good. If you're in a five man, they're gonna try and put you up against a five man rather than five individuals. Super good. Rank and activity will also be tracked. If you haven't played a competitive match in 14 days, your account will be considered inactive and your ranks will be hidden. Fine. Don't worry, your rank will be displayed again after your first match back. We want to be confident that when Others see your rank, it's accurate reflection of your skill. After 14 days, and act, uh, after 14 of active days, we don't have a high confidence in displaying your rank. However, we won't decay your rank artificially in the background, so don't sweat it if you're one of those players. If you're one of those players, it's always on top of their game. So if you come back and you play really well, you'll keep your rank. If you come back and you're trash, you, you probably go down a bit. Uh, competitive progression and beyond. So yeah, this is pretty much the last part. The Valorant community will lead the way on how our team evolves uh, competitive mode and the ranking system during the closed beta and especially after launch. We're currently tinkering with how we add an element of persistent rank progression that recognizes your competitive accomplishments for all ranks outside just the match rank display. Okay, that's quite cool. Expect to hear more on this. So that'd be cool. So one of the things that me and Will actually use in Rocket League is a mod called the Backers mod. And it shows the hidden MMR. I think if they were just outright like forward with that, that would be really cool uh, for it going up and down. So if that, if I was them, that's something I would definitely show. Um, but yeah guys, uh, this is just the first of many Valorant videos to come. Really interesting. Um, as always, hopefully you like this. Uh, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next video.